Hey guys, in this video I want to share with you some interesting and a little bit crazy idea which is related to music creation. I've just played an example based on the idea to start the creating process with the rhythm and uh, after that to extract some changes or chord progression and the, the melody from that rhythm. In other words, everything we need already exists in the rhythm. We should only get it using the right way. Someone could hear some unfamiliar word combinations while I speak, like a modal interchange or corner call, something else maybe. So I will gladly explain it on my private lessons and the more other interesting things just drop me a message in direct to connect with me. Or you can extract all the answers you need from the good book Berkeley Music Harmony, which I highly recommend it. So the idea is pretty simple and uh, consists of five steps. Step one, choose time signature. Remember, the more complex signature is, the more sophisticated harmony will be. In my example, I used 27 eighth. Step 2. Split 27 onto small groups of easy numbers. Conical will help us to do it like this way. Tak, dina, takita, tak, deneka, tak, tak, takita, taka, dadi, gina, dom, tak, dina, tak, juna, tak, 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 dina, takita, dadi, gina, dom, taka. Okay, it was 27 in two variations. Step 3. The numbers we've got we need to split onto smaller numbers to get the more combinations like uh, 4 and 3, 5, 2 and 3, 3 and 2, 5, 8, 2 and 3, 2 and 2 and 3 and finally 7. Step 4. Okay, now we need to get the chord progression from the rhythm. And uh, how can we do this? Easily. But you should know what type of chord, what scale degree belongs to. Choose the tonality or modality like um, A minor in my example and uh, use the numbers we've got, like more degrees. Then, using the modal interchange, we borrow any degree from any mode we like, just for more sophisticated sounding. Fourth and third Ireland, fifth Lydian, second Dorian, third Ionian, third, second, fifth, eighth, Iolan, and uh, second again, Iolan, third, Ionian, second, Dorian, second, Phrygian, third, Ionian, and the last, seventh, Dorian. And uh, that's it. Our changes is ready. Okay, now we need to create a baseline. Baseline is a very important thing because the type, name and function of chord depends on what root we choose for bass over the chord. In my little example, just let my ears to create baseline which I would like to hear all these chords. But you can use one of thousands bass creating conceptions. By the way, you can learn about these conceptions with me on my lessons. Step 5. The numbers we've already got we use with the chords as they are tensions now. This way we get the highest voice, or we can interpret it like a melody if we'll play it on another instrument. Here is the example. The first chord in our progression is D minor 7, the fourth chord of Iolan mode. Now this number 4 we're gonna use as the chord tension, 11th in relation of chord tonic or G. That's it. And finally, you can get a lot of fun with this way of creating if you just get any text from any random book and um, 
using it as the number interpretation like we did with conical, you'll get the rhythm and uh, then you'll get the music following this way from it. Just try it. It's, it, it, <laughs> it's really fun. So it was another non-standard way to create something. I hope it was interesting and you liked it. I'll let if you share with me your results or just leave a comment what you think about this way of creating. Please subscribe to my channel if you want. And uh, good luck. Bye-bye.